Welcome to this episode of How to Crush No Limit Hold'em Games in United States Casino. I'm Jun. Today we're playing at Horseshoe Casino and there is a Hall of Fame poker room here. And although there's not many tables here, but the table is very good and the game is very sick. And let's go fishing! So we start our session with a 2-3 table because we're waiting for the 3-5 table. And the first hand we're going to share today is cut off a very loose player, open raise to 10 bucks. I got pocket kings on the bottom, I definitely want to iso raise him, so I dribble him to 35 bucks. He calls, flop comes 2-6-7 rainbow, he checked to me. Here facing this type of fish player, we don't need to bet a small size because he cannot find a way to pay us. So I decided to bet for 60 bucks. He chose to call. Turn comes a 8 of spade. There's no any backdoor flush draw. He checked me again. Here I only lose to 7 8 2 pair or 9 10 5 6 2 combos of straight. But facing this type of very wide player, we just need to put our money in. He definitely has a lot of combos can pay us. I bet for 100 bucks and preparing for a river shove. He calls, river comes a queen of spade. He checked to us again. And I think this queen is relatively a clean run out. So I push all in as my plan. And he think for a long time. And then he choose to call. call. I shows pocket kings and he got stacked and leave the table. Speed on 14. And the next hand I got ace king off to under the gun and I raise it to 10 bucks plus one directly 3 bet me to 30 bucks and more interestingly small blind player call calls the 3 bet. And small blind player is relatively short behind he has only 200 bucks and plus one player is not deep he has only like 260. So we're not going to too worry about aces and kings. Here I choose a tricky strategy, I 4 bet to 90 bucks, I'm hoping plus 1 can make some mistakes, call some ace queen this type of hand, and turns out he shoves all in. And after small mind folded, I choose to call. And flop comes, jack 4, 6, rainbow, turn is a 7, river is a queen. And to be honest, I'm a bit of bit worried. Until he says, I missed. And I told him I missed too. And he shows ace king and we chop the pot. In the next hand we're on the 3-5 table and I got king 9 suited on the cutoff and I raise it to 15 bucks. Button calls, small by player squeeze it to 50 bucks. And this size is relatively small. Plus I'm in position so I decided to call. Button player also calls. Flop comes 9 4 deuce rainbow. He C bets 55 bucks. I hit a top pair, so I decided to call. Button folded. Turn comes a 6 of heart. He bets 80 bucks. One third of the pot. And I decided to call and see what he would do on the river. And river comes a 6 of clubs. This time he chose to check. Here I'm thinking whether I'm going to bet for value, but I think it's too thin and plus I don't have too many read on this opponent. I decided to check to see what he got. And he shows queen nine of spade. So I successfully took down this pot. And then the next table we got a table change and under the gun player limbed, middle position player ISO raised to 20 bucks, bottom player dribbled him to 60 bucks. And I got pocket kings on the big blind and because I'm new on the table, so I decided to play very standardly. I choose to 4 bet to 150. Under gun player folded, middle position and button all calls. So the pot is around 450. And the effective stack is only 550 around. And flop comes ace, 10, deuce, 2 spades. Very unfortunately comes an ace. And we're in a 3 way 3 bet pot. I don't think many merit to bet here, so I decided to check. And all players check. Turn comes the 3 of diamonds. I decided to check and middle position player bets 300 bucks. Button player folded. Here he betting 
on a drill part in an outer position, so I decided to fold. But after a few hands, I find find that this player is a very maniac player. He play he plays every single hand. He's a 100% VP player, so we will have a lot of chance to revenge. And the next hand is low jack player named. I got six seven suited on the bottom. I raised it to 20 bucks. And not surprised, the big blind 100% player calls. Low jack player also calls. Flop comes king 4 8 2 diamonds. They all check to me. On this dry board, I got a gut shot and backdoor flush. I bet for 30 bucks. And two player all calls. Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Turn comes the three of spade, and two player check again. And this three is not helping their calling range. I still got the most strong range in this board, so I decided to bet for 150, a really huge bet. I'm hoping opponents can give up all the draws and, and middle pair. And very successfully, after I bet, two player choose to fold. So we successfully bluff and take down this pot. And then the next hand is a very exciting Omaha bomb pot. So this table is playing a Omaha bomb pot every time when, when the dealer change. And I don't have much research about Omaha, but I'm going to try this anyway. And this hand is I got queen jack nine for two clubs on the big blind. And after everyone puts 25 bucks in, we're directly going to see a flop. And the flop comes queen jack for two hearts. So I directly hit top three pair. Um, of course I can use only two pairs, but actually I take all the cards on the board. So I decided to check. And under the gun player bets 60 bucks and all falls to bottom player he chooses to call. And here I definitely want to raise for value. And I'm not sure so I asked about how much can I raise to. And obviously the players on the table are not very sure and they even don't care that much. So how, how much can I raise? 60. You raise whatever you want. Whatever I want? Yeah. Isn't it fine? Raising king. Raising king. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know what the rules are. I don't either. <laughs> Appeal, yeah. Raise the pot. Well, I, I raise pot? Yeah, so, so the 25... 100. 175 plus whatever. So 180 plus 175, 175 yeah, 175 to 235, 235, 60, 135, 180, so 435. And because Omaha is pot limited, so I think the raise size it should be 175 plus 60 plus 60 times 3. So I think it should be 415. So the dealer may make a mistake. But if you know much about Omaha, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and tell me what is the correct size. Anyway, after I raise, uh, under the gun player raised all in. And after button folded, I have only 200 bucks left, so I decided to call. Is all in? Yeah, all in. I call. Yeah, call. Turn and river comes a 8 of hearts and 7 of diamonds. After I show, opponent shows 4439. So very sadly, we hit three pairs on the flop but we lose all our stacks we can only say this game is really really dangerous don't try this at home and although we got clean but next hand we rebuy and playing our familiar two card no limit hold'em and this time the bottom straddle to 10 bucks low drag the 100 player limped I got pocket queens on the big blind and I raise it to 60 bucks. Low drop player calls, bottom folded, and flop comes 834 rainbow. If I'm facing a normal player, I'm definitely gonna bet for value. But facing this 100% VP player, he is so wide and he needs to bluff so much. So I decided to check and set a trap. And he chose to check back. Turn comes a 6 of spades. So now there's a lot of draws on this board. I decided to bet for 70 bucks, starting to get some value, and he raised me to 200 bucks. And I'm debating between raising or calling. And considering we're not too deep behind, I decided to call. And river comes a 8. I'm not too worried about hitting this 8, because if he got an 8, I think he will not check back the flop to let me see a free turn card. 
So I decided to check again and he bets for 200 bucks so it's an easy call for me and I successfully catch his bluff and take down this pot. And the next hand is the 100% player um, straddle on the bottom and I got pocket 8 on the hijack and I raised it to 40 bucks and this time he chose to min click me to 75 bucks a very strange size and I choose to call flop comes 10 5 4 2 spade and this is a very clean board I decided to check and he bets for 75 bucks here I still win a lot of his 2 over missed so I decided to call and defend turn comes a 5 of clubs I checked and he bets for 300 bucks now I starting to feel some pressure but considering he's a 100% bro I cannot fold here I choose to call and river comes a worst card on the deck it's an ace of heart and I think I'm gonna fold this river if he bets and I check the good news is he also checks after I show he mug his hand so I take down this 1000 bucks huge pot and the next hand is I got ace queen offsuit under the gun and raise it to 20 bucks high drag player calls button and big mine also calls flop comes 2 4 5 rainbow big mine check to me here I'm in this 4 way pot I choose to check and all player checks turn comes a king of clubs Big blind checks me again and this this king although is favoring my range but on this four way pot I decided to check again and high drive player bets for 60 bucks two player folded here I got an over card and got shot I choose to call Rira comes a four of spade and I check again and to my surprise opponents over bet for 250 and here is a very interesting situation if opponent is got some middle pair to bet a turn I don't think it's gonna bet for a huge size on the river and the backdoor flush and straight is missed and so he's definitely representing some pure air or two pair plus strong hand and I decided to hero call this river bet but here comes the bad news this time he really got it he shows king 7 offsuit and very sadly we lose this hand and then the next hand we switching to Paris and this hand is 6 handed cut off player a loose player open raise to 15 bucks I got pocket kings and I raise it to 50 bucks he choose to call flop comes ace queen for 2 diamonds he checked to me on this board I decided to see bet my entire range for 30 bucks and he choose to call turn comes a 5 of clubs I thought it was a blank and he choo checked to me here are my kings will definitely check back and considering a river thin value bet or decided to bluff catch opponents and river comes a 10 of diamonds so the fundo flush is missed but the king jack is straight but I blocked the two kings on my head an opponent bets for 100 bucks here I don't have a heart on my hand and I decided to bluff catch but opponent shows 2 3 of diamonds so opponent hits a straight on the turn and I didn't expect this hand would in opponent's range at all and we can see after he shows other players smiles very happily but on the other hand very sadly I lost this huge pot overall today I went through a very sick session and we lose a very huge pot on that Omaha bomb pot and although we took down several huge pots afterwards but we still can make it rebounds and overall today I lost around 700 bucks and I think it's acceptable and it's poker right you can win every time and I think it's alright as long as next time we can play better and then get a rebound that's it thanks for watching I'll see you guys next week that is your chance to be ruthless. Ooh, 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 ooh.